Naruto to me is pretty much just the personification of happiness, joy um, on our campus. I went to one home football game my freshman year and the energy inside the dome was electric. You could see Otto running up and down like all across the stands, all across the field. And I was like, wow, I want to, I want to be able to give to that. I want to be able to, to help build this energy around both Syracuse Athletics but also Syracuse University. Otto has really helped me a lot in terms of just building my confidence as like a person. The magical things about, I think, mascotting in general and Otto specifically is that no one really knows that it's you. As someone who's like in the suit, it gives us a lot of flexibility to just really just let go and like be free and be fully in that moment and in, in with and connected to Otto as the character and bring it to life as best as we can. My name is Neil Paulus. Uh, my real name is Howan Ajays. It's my understanding that the Salty Warrior came from a fraternity on campus. There's some discussion about that it came from a rumor of found bones on campus and all those kind of things. But at the time too, I think it was kind of this, having Native American mascots was kind of cool and it created this kind of thing where people were trying to pay tribute or honor to something that was uh, in some, some respects uh, and beliefs disappearing. The interaction between indigenous people and those spaces, those white spaces of privilege were all the same they weren't gonna to listen to what Native people really cared about anyway. I know that uh, as, a, as a leadership uh, within our community, the leadership all was pretty unanimous that they thought that the mascot was offensive. They struggled, you know, they struggled with the idea of, I'm gonna to go to this school and go to the sporting event and there's this mascot dancing around and prancing and all these other things to this music that's not ours with this clothing that's not ours and that doesn't represent us but we're asked to be proud of it. The Chiefs had a meeting with the Native students and they agreed to be open to allowing Syracuse University to the nation to meet at, at the council at Onondaga. If all the mascots were the lineup, you're standing uh, dogs and horses and sheep and goats and fictional characters next to me. And I don't feel honor and I don't feel privileged by sharing that space. Like anything, trust is earned, not given. And I think Syracuse has done a few things uh, to help that, to, to be better neighbors with their ind indigenous uh, hosts. In the late 70s, early 80s, the university decided we're not going to be the Saltine Warrior anymore. Really progressive move for the university and I think really respectful for where we, wanted to, where we want to be still now. Um, and so then there was a lot of discussion of what should be the mascot, if mascots were necessary here, and um, we ended up seeing kind of evolutions of different mascots. Otto had been around at that point. Otto kind of shows up in the late 80s. Otto, the Lambda Chi brothers are part of you know, bringing Otto, naming Otto, and being a part of this whole thing. But in, it's not until 95 where this kind of comes up as a, a final vote. And the students kind of are the ones that get upset about it and protest and decide we don't want this generic mascot, wolf, insert, whatever. We want the thing that has been with us already and represents something different and unique about us. And I think Otto kind of wins this debate because Otto had already connected with the students, the fans, the university. Otto is involved in everything. And I think that's, again, what makes Otto a little bit different is that Otto is a part of every piece of this university. 
Starting from the little ones who are visiting campus for a game and the only thing that they're excited about is auto. So auto is really a part of every stage of your life as you are a part of Syracuse University. Otto has, has broken a lot of barriers along the way here. That Otto's always been someone that has accessibility needs, that um, you know, has the, an inability to fully communicate, or doesn't have any words, and so Otto has to talk to you in other ways. And Otto has no gender, and Otto has a, a very limited mobility and sight. And so Otto brings all these disabilities to the table and asks people to just accept Otto for exactly who they are. The ability to connect and impact with the broader Syracuse community is something that I think makes Otto really special, um, especially compared to other university mascots and the emphasis that that we as a team put into making sure that we're connecting with the community, I think is something that um, I'll definitely always take away and remember. A lot of connection, a lot of energy, a lot of spirit, and it's tied into the identity of Syracuse University now, the same way that the previous mascot was. I think Syracuse could be a great example for how that transition and shift can really inspire a whole new generation of relationship to their mascot and to what that means uh, for school spirit.